This is commentary about Don't Start, Friend. You'd be hard pressed to find an anesthesiologist who doesn't know of a colleague who was either caught with drugs or caught too late and found dead of an overdose. Despite all kinds of efforts to prevent addiction and to detect problems early, anesthesiologists die of drug overdose. We have an extraordinarily easy access to drugs with high addictive potential. And we administer these drugs in titrated amounts to our patients so we feel quite comfortable using them. We think that we can control their use. We also do research involving these drugs and their effects and that also leads to a familiarity with them. We really think we understand these drugs. And because doing our jobs well ensures continued access to these drugs, an addicted anesthesiologist will perform very well in the operating room until extremely late in his or her addiction pattern. Hence, in the workplace, it can be extremely hard to tell that an anesthesiologist is addicted. In our program and our department, if someone is suspected of a drug problem, an intervention is made by a prearranged group, which includes the chair of our department, and that anesthesiologist is escorted to a well-known inpatient drug treatment program. I wrote this poem after once again we had failed to detect an addict among us. He was found dead in a hospital bathroom when he did not return several pages while on call. People liked this person. He worked very hard. He was affable. He had been in our home on numerous social occasions, and now he was dead. I was very angry. I was really furious with him for doing this to himself, to his family, to his colleagues, and his friends. And I was also angry that his death made each of us feel guilty that we didn't suspect his addiction. So I wrote this poem as a way to channel my feelings of guilt, anger, and my sense of loss. <laughs>